All right, we are in deep on this door project. Uh, it's been a few days. We're just super busy. We got all the merch shipped out. All the eye muffs are on the way, etc. So that's good news. Took a little time to recalibrate what we've been doing in here. And yesterday I spent some time working on this door. Uh, some folks were saying, how's the window going to roll up and down? How's this going to work? How's that going to work? I came up with a plan thus far to use hydraulics to slide the doors open and shut. I'm not sure about the tilt yet. Anything is an option. Uh, thinking about how this slides out, I just kind of set it up with some stops before the door was just flopping around. So see, it stops down and it'll slide in and now it stops up and that's all adjustable. You can look inside here. I'll take the door off in a minute, but look inside here. Just real simple. Just as a mock-up, I welded a piece of steel vertical with a nut in it. So look at this little tab as that comes around. This little tab comes in and hits that. Right, so that's the up and down motion and I can adjust this rod to set that. And in the back, you'll see I have the same thing. There's a tab back here and this will screw up and down. You'll see when that tab swings around, it'll contact that other bolt. So that's all adjustable. And what I'm thinking, I ordered a ram just to see, uh, I ordered a 12 inch stroke. So that should just get us past the tire and I'm gonna have to come up with something in here. I put a little grease on that slide bar. So that ram should, in theory, push that in and out. Uh, the swing up and down of the door is to be discovered. But with that little bit accomplished, see that sets in and it just shuts. Yes, there's going to be latches, there's going to be all kinds of other stuff, but that's a good start. Point that some people brought up, well, how's the window, if it's here, how's it going to roll down? And if you look, it could just roll straight up and down. Uh, there's a lot of debate on that, but I was thinking, I remember the, well, a lot of cars have this, but the rear window of my Volkswagen Bug convertible, it just had one point of pivot so that the window just rolled down like that. So I thought, well, that would be kind of cool. I made a uh, template. If you follow on the Instagram, you'll know about my little artwork project <laughs> yesterday. That's the resemblance is uncanny. <laughs> I am an artiste. So I just put these holes in there so I could hold it. It's like one of those sign guys on the side <laughs> of the street. That's such like a cool, like fun looking job. Yeah. I did that for a while yesterday, but holes are just to hold on to it. So see, I'm coming close. Could it roll down? I guess not. You'd be, you'd be hard press to make that happen. So this is going to have a flange here. So when you shut the door, this window will be below. It'll push right up against that flange where the steel will be. It'll pretty much sit pretty much like that. Look, that's, that's like you're actually in the car driving. Now this pivot isn't going to be here. This was just a quick test to see what would happen. The pivot's going to be down in here. We're going to get into that in a minute. Pretty much as a test, I just want to see this. It held in place. It could be down here inside the door, but I thought it would just roll down like that. But a paper template isn't enough to make this happen. Uh, I got some aluminum set up here. So I got this quarter inch aluminum just because I had it laying around. And a lot of times with the templates, if it's a soft paper or whatever, I'll have a series of clamps that I'll put around this. I noticed with this template that that corner was a little bit incorrect. So I'm gonna leave it long and then adjust it as we build it out of aluminum. big thick panel so I'm gonna get out the big saw and cut this.
You remember that don't try this at home clause, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the reason I want to make it out of this aluminum plate is because the window glass will be about this thick and it's like a hundred percent straight and true template. The glass doesn't flex. That's going to allow us to build the framework that will provide for a perfectly straight piece of glass. So I have a question. Yes. Why did you put a hole in that? Oh, so you could do that. Yeah. <laughs> this thing's pretty heavy. The door is going to be pretty heavy. That's a significant amount of glass. So, yeah. So, yeah, these are just hand holes. The window won't have holes in it. I'm going to ask you to put a little marker. Let me give you a magic marker. Cool. All right. Good. I'm a designer now. Yes. So I'm going to take the door off now and just see what's going on in here. First, I'll drill a hole and test this. it's down this is gonna hit we're gonna need to clear that out big time or or I lower that pivot because the pivots gonna be in the door <laughs> we're gonna use that as a reference point in the mock-up of the door on here. That's what we're going to do. That's one of the features of not building anything 100% until it's all figured out. All right. So this really shows all the gusset work and that little flipper tab that locates it, etc. So this is going to be sitting in here like this. Get that screw and fasten it. So this is what we used as a reference. So, okay. So see the window is in the car like this, right? And when it rolls down, it's gonna roll down somewhere in there. Possibly like that. Oh like that. It's perfect. So you see how this is coming out past the edge of the door? Mm -hmm. What if the pivot's right here? I think so. I think I'm gonna weld. I'm gonna weld a brace across this corner and put the pivot right in here. Yes, indeed. You find a chunk of steel. Yeah, should be able to just put it right up like that. It looks like a piece of angle, I'll do it. I'll take this off and do a little cleanup. Alright, so I'm going to want to come up to this surface. I think I'll use a piece of angle. Yeah, look at that. Perfect. So I'm going to, I think, come in like that. Cut off that. Let's 
Just gonna tack that on place and see what happens. So that being said, what if the pivot was down here? I'm gonna drill right through, put a clamp on this. Of course, this will have some kind of a grommet or bushing or who knows what, but this is just a test. Okay. Okay. So one thing this is going to need is a, a track for this window to go in. All right. So as it's swinging, I need a piece something to support it in that arc. It also looks like this bracket's gonna have to be changed too, because that window's gonna go right through there. Unless we stop it rolling down there, but I'd like to see it go all the way through. Or we just keep it on top of that. Either way, you can see the arc right here. That's what we're gonna need. Something that's that arc. I'm going to use this tube, square, and I'm going to curve it and then cut out one corner of it, cut out one flat surface, and then it'll be a C-channel in a curve. Pretty groovy. compare it to that. Let's see what we got. So you can see what we're looking to do. We're going to keep this. Nope. See it's good here. Then it pops out. It pops back in. So we need more of a curve. Perfect. Yep, that's what we're gonna want. It's gonna be sitting inside here like that. Oops. A little bit more, I think. Okay. There. There. That'll 
will do it. If I sneak it just a little bit more. Our window is rolled all the way down to the bottom of the door. That's sitting in the track. And there it is. It's the first time I ever did that. <laughs> Seriously. So I'm gonna say down here like that, like that. So we're gonna cut this off right there. It's gonna be the bottom. Then that's gonna come up to here. That's gonna be the top. And then I'm gonna cut out all this with the grinder. I think I'm gonna put in a vise for that, just for some control. So have you missed everybody on Facebook world, or not Facebook, in YouTube world? I'll tell you what, shipping and packing, it's not really for me. We, <laughs> we did it for the people. For the people. That was a lot of fussing around. Yep. All day long, fold the shirt, ship the shirt, make the sticker, all the things. <laughs> Getting my money's worth. Thing is probably ten million degrees. I'm gonna clean it up with the little uh, flap disc. Take some of the Sharpie off. So that's what I was describing. See this plate, put a clamp right on here. Is that one of your new clamps? It is, that's what I was saying. For this little detail work, stuff like this matters. Oops. There's that. Just to say, that's right here. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to weld that right on there because I'm that <laughs> satisfied. Look at that, it worked. It was like, like fits like a glove. It's going to work. But, um, well, actually, I could change this a little bit because it's going to have felt in there and a surround on this, but I'm going to use this aluminum as the hard, hard shape right here. So it's going to sit right there. If that's welded, boom, it comes right in. I can't stand it. You may be thinking to yourself, man, that's a lot of work. What else do we have to do with our time here? So I built overcomplicated doors for show cars. I'm gonna trim this and then set it back in the car and see what's up. I thought we were gonna fit it up in the car, but then I started thinking, 
What if I was able to just use the old window roller upper and downer to make this thing work before we fit into the car? I like it. I like it too. Let's see. This is the old internal door skin. And I just released the window roller upper and downer. Or window winder, as it's called in certain circles. However you want to say it, this thing sits inside the car. You ever seen one of these before? Nope. Well, I have. That's a good thing. So this is in the car door, right? And this is where your window handle to wind it up and down is. And watch that thing go up and down like a happy little elevator. Ah, very nice. So I'm thinking if that could sit somewhere in here, then that should wind the window up and down. But we need to put this in the car and make a couple marks on this so that we know how high up it comes. So let's do that. What's he doing? Huh? What's he doing? Say hi, everyone. Did you come to visit Shadow? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You like laying out in the sun, huh? Yeah. Bring that up a little bit. Hit this again with the big saw. All right, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of trimming, but basically this is close enough for a go at it. If it rolls up to there, then we're okay. So we'll put it back on the bench. Definitely gonna come up with some kind of sliders for this, but let me just trim that in there. Little assistance before we have all the other fabric sliders in there. Stuck. Yeah. Now this has got a little something to guide it. Cool. 
So this is going to roll up to that line right there. And now we got to figure out how to support this thing on this side of the glass. Oh yeah. That's where the fun starts. So our door handle, we want it to the front. So that's like that. Oh no, that's like this coming into the car. Oh, there it is. Boom, just like that. Cool. So that's our little elevator and that is all the way up. Like so. But it's not going up and down. Well, if this is on a slot, it would. It's got to come on an angle like that. So let's just put a mark on this and see where it ends up. Because if that's all the way up, this is roughly where we want our door handle. That's still well inside the frame. Ooh, I even got a different idea. I'm gonna put that screw right through there, just like I did on the other side, just to see. Leave that a little loose so it can pivot. So now, what are we saying? This has to end up in its down position. Out here. So let's see how far that is. Roughly. Told you it was gonna get complicated. Did I tell you? I knew it. You get a piece of paper. All right, no point of reference. So that paper is not gonna move. Then we got roughly right there. it got right in here right there where's my shears So you could see our hole sitting right there. Careful, not me. I'm sure somewhere I could clamp this thing in place and really save it. There it is. I'm going to clamp that. Oh, maybe with our brand new clamp. <laughs> Told you. It's a use for everything. Look at that. That paper's not going nowhere. I'm going to put it on this way. I think that's a stronger flip. Okay. Our paper's not going to spin. We got our hole at the pointer pretty close. Come down to our bottom right there. I'm gonna cut that out again. There's our hole right there. So that's not a huge angle. So you 
got down. We're going from here. To there. So thusly, I deduce. That's gotta go like that. You got some mad scientist vibes going on right now. Some Gomez. <laughs> Just getting warmed up. Look, that's gonna go right at that angle. Uh oh. I heard a woo. And that's our door handle, it's gonna be right there. And that's a little bit wonky, but this thing's flexible. I bet I could just do this. I wonder what she's barking at. Oh, yeah, that's kind of uh, could have been me laughing maniacally. Okay, so I'm going to need a bracket here on the outside of the window. So that's where it gets complicated. I gotta build a bridge over this that's strong enough. That's what that inner door structure was. So we know that this is on the outside of the window and we have nothing over here. So, roll this back a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna have to build something coming around this window. but the shortest step is going to be to here because the window never hits it. So I'm going to build a bridge up over to this point and then hit it there with flat bar. That's what I have. So it's got to sit on top of this or it could sit inside of this. It could sit right here. So that won't hit the Bend this straight down to here, like that. Put this in the vise. Good girl. She's a good dog. Why is everybody so nervous around me? <laughs> What's he doing? that that's 10 millimeter 
but I'm not even gonna use that. I'm gonna put that screw in here. Kind of curves up a little bit i don't know if that happened when i pulled it out of the car but it's a perfect out of the way bracket actually i could probably tighten it up even to here yeah, i don't want to find out it won't reach but uh it's gonna spot well i'm gonna spot weld this bracket on and just see what's happening here if this has to shift over a little bit Might not, might not. I know what, I should wind this down to here and then do it from the bottom. Blue jumped out of the fence. That's what she was barking at. Uh, Hi, buddy. Give or take that marker there. Over here. That's going to sit over there so that doesn't, yeah, nothing hits. All right, put that screw in. One tack on this. Let's just see. A lot of stuff piling up. Let's see what happens. The opportunity for this to bind is real. So See if it binds. Our paper's good. We have all those established. Oh my goodness. You gotta be kidding. <laughs> It's a Christmas miracle. Did that just really happen? <laughs> That's where it's got to roll up to. So this has got to come up just a wee bit. I can see that right now. This just changed. Curses. What just happened? Take this apart. Something changed. I rolled it up too far. Uh -oh. oh no, it goes like that. There it is. It goes like that. Boom. Okay. So this has to move just up a little bit. I'm gonna disconnect that, put this back in. Cut this off.
attack cables. Needs to be on a bigger slider. All right, so this is the basic theory of it. Uh, what I'm seeing is this is going to have to have a, a slot. You'll see that a lot of times in windows that roll up and down. So I'm going to create a slot here for this thing to uh, slide back and forth, and then it'll work. Um, the theory's there. But uh, because you have this angle, it's doing this curve just like here, and this is a straight shot. So that's going to need about this much deflection, about three inches. Not a big challenge, but uh, a lot of engineering for a simple door. But just like with this whole project, you know, you do one side. Now I have a hard template for the glass and a... Uh, number of design ideas but you can see that this gets supported here and it does it's going to roll down as loose as it is we have the full range of motion we need with this uh stock vw winder So everything's just binding up right now, but stand by for next time. Figure it out.